around Lebanon and some wind damage down there. And there's yes. speculation. Some folks maybe saw a funnel cloud and what the fire department's saying. They think it was a tornado, but that's yeah. not confirmed. Yes, and what has to happen is the National Weather Service in Portland is going down there as we speak to confirm the damage. If it was a funnel cloud, if it was a tornado, how strong the winds were. So that's what we're waiting for now is for confirmation. But there's no doubt that there was damage. We've seen the photos. We've mm -hmm. seen the roofs and the tree branches. So there definitely was a strong storm that moved through there. We will wait for confirmation of what we actually saw. And when we say damage, we're talking about two dairy barns down yes. there on, on a farm. No reports yeah. of injuries, no reports of any people hurt. But again, there was something that moved through the area. And I want to show you the radar. So this was back around 126. It was a port around 127, 125. So there was a strong storm that moved through uh, the area, producing hail and those strong winds, obviously, again, due to the photos. So wait in for that confirmation. And as soon as we get it, we will update you. You both here and online. So, looking at this afternoon, though, we've had some strong storms. So, yesterday we had two tornado warnings. There were no actual confirmed tornadoes or any touchdowns there. It was just the warnings that were in place due to the rotation in those clouds. We've definitely had reports of hail the last several days. Strong storms continuing to push through the area. We do have some heavy rains that are moving just to the north. Beaverton in the Hillsborough area, north to Portland, moving into the area through this afternoon. Some heavy rain down towards Malala and towards Yam Hill. This afternoon, Afternoon, we're seeing heavy showers between Tillamook and down towards Lincoln City, and again, some heavier rains moving through the Cascades at this time. The reason we're seeing all of these storms and this large uh, push of thunder and lightning storms is we have this cool trough pushing in again, instability in the air, in the atmosphere, creating these thunder and lightning storms, strong winds associated with that. That will continue. Another one dropping down tonight that will push heavy rain and chances of thunderstorms again for tomorrow. So we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow. But for tonight, again, showers, possible thunderstorms again continue through this evening. We're even seeing some light high mountain snow, several inches of accumulation up towards Timberline and Meadows. Cool upper trough again. That's the main story for tomorrow moves in. And flash flood watches again due to this heavy rain expected. I think we could see some potential problems late tonight, early tomorrow morning with debris flows and mudslides. So let's take a look. This is Mount Hood Meadows current camera. It's windy up there. Definitely breezy afternoon, but we're actually seeing some snow yesterday. This was just grass some snow falling there. How much rain have we seen? Well, we've actually seen quite a bit about three quarters of an inch. McMinnville Salem, those heavy storms roll through a lot of rain falls with these storms today. About a third of an inch in Astoria, just under a quarter of an inch in Newport and less than a tenth of in Portland. Here's the flash flood watch information. So Wednesday morning, this continues. Again, the major issue is up towards the Eagle Creek fire area where we get heavy rainfall, and this is when we can start to see the mud flows and the trees falling in this area. Currently, over Portland, starting to see some more dark clouds moving in from the north. Temperatures in the mid 60s, southwest winds about 17 miles per hour. Temperatures around the region this afternoon 59 degrees in Hood River, upper 60s for Salem. Winds are strong, especially along the Cascade Pass. We just saw that uh, picture up towards the Mount Hood Meadows. Breezy winds through this evening. So here's a look at your forecast as we continue through the rest of the evening. Strong winds, especially through the metro area, the next seven days. We will continue to see some winds through this evening. Tomorrow is going to be the coolest day again. Another round of possible thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Lightning ling er, <laughs> lingering showers for Thursday, and it does turn to fall by Friday. But again, it's been a busy few days. This is the last few days of summer, and this is when we see those uh, tumultuous weather conditions in our area. One season changing into another. Yep. Hold on. Doesn't go smoothly sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Claire. Claire. Hey,